Hi guys, Steve the Transit Camper, how are you? In the back of the van, I've got the heating on, so there will be some background noise, I do apologize, but I've got a new toy. Baby's in with us, she's got a temperature of 38.5, but I said she's not allowed to stay in the house if I have to come out on a cold and frosty morning fitting stuff to the van. So let me show you what I've bought. There's baby, Paulie, forced into the van. So this is the box that came today. Let me show you. Ta-da! And this is a Join L Go security camera system for the van. Ching ching. So here we go. Here's one of the first of the smaller boxes, which is one of the cameras. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. Good quality. Metal camera. If you loosen off that back plate, you can position this eyeball to wherever you want and then fix it down to the van. Not sure I'm gonna do that yet, but we'll get round to it. So there's four of them in small boxes. So the next box is the main unit. Instructions, throw them away, never read them. <laughs> Shut up. So this is the main unit out of the bag, quite heavy. Nothing on that side and all our connections there. It's got audio out, cameras out, power in, you name it, it's got it. It's also got scan codes on the top and that allows you to have this on a mobile phone, iPhone or uh, Samsung, Android, and you can have all four cameras viewed on your phone away from the van. And in that box, with the main unit are all different cables and a remote control. Obviously I won't be using the remote control because it'll be right by me. Then last of the main boxes is the LCD screen. As I said, I'm doing this all one-handed. It's a little bit tricky. I'll take it out of the packet. Looks quite good quality, not too bad. We'll see what it's like when it's all fitted underneath the screen you've got all the harnesses So that's the rest of the box. You've got some extensions for your cameras. So lots and lots of long leads. I think these are uh, 20 feet. And that's the other three cameras. So let's have a quick look through the booklet. Here we have it. Mobile DVR instructions. There's a few instructions. Bit about the remote. Bit about connecting to the iPhone. So it's all good. You just download an app. You put in your secret password that comes with each individual unit and off you go. So definitely the toughest job on this installation is getting the wires onto the roof. Uh, each camera has quite a big connection on the end of it. So that would mean drilling a big hole in the van to get the connector through just for a sort of four mil wire to go through. So I might cut the wires and rejoin them on the inside. Or I might look at what plugs I've got in the ceiling and take one out of the van. So let's crack on. Let's have a look at the unit first and get the power to that. So you get this one sheet guide, which is probably all you need. Shows you what connections you've got and everything. So I will be looking at that, obviously. There's a close up of the unit itself. Right, I'm upside down now, and that looks like the obvious place to put it, where our feet would go. And we've got a place there to run our cables up to our power. And we can also take the camera cables up there. Superb. So we've got that fitted up there. First really annoying thing is these screws, they don't fit any of my Phillips screwdrivers, which does my head in. I've had to dig around in the garage to find something that fits them, but we've done that. 
So all the connections that I need are this side and then the other side there's a key that goes in the back. You can see that there. And then a drawer comes out of the back, which I assume is for like a DVD, a little mini disc to keep your recordings on if you don't use the memory card. So I won't be using that drawer at the back. I know you're all upside down and all over the place, but that drawer comes out of the back of there, so I've left enough room if it all of a sudden springs out under its own steam for some reason. That's good so far. So I asked baby to help me while I was putting that up. <laughs> she was a great help. As always. Can't tell you what she did, but I lost concentration on the job. So I did have a spare live off my main circuit coming from my battery and then the negative will return to the main negative which runs back to the battery not to the chassis. I've learnt my lessons. So after a bit of debate we decided to put the monitor there which is in the corner. So we decided to move it straight away because it was in front of the switches. So that's where it's staying. So after a lot of stress and realising that my live wasn't live I've now run a fresh live all the way back to this system and we've got the screen on. So there we are so far. I'm gonna have a good tidy up in the van now because it looks like a bit of a bomb site. And then we'll get some cameras going. I have plugged a camera in and it does work, so awesome. So under here does remain a mess, but that's the fresh red wire joining the loom about halfway along just underneath the sink where I'd cut it. Okay, perfect. You've probably realised by now this is not an installation video. This is coming along with me, wiring in these cameras, and it's more a demonstration once it's finished. Okay? And for those that are wondering if Baby's a quitter, she is not. She is still there, watching my every move and being very, 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 very helpful. Well, I was about to put one of the cameras on, but Baby has made lunch. Thank you, Baby. So we've got the first camera on the back. I haven't worked out how to mirror it the other way around yet. But we're getting there. The instructions are horrific. A lot, a lot of cables coming through there. Now underneath, ready to connect. And I've gone along through the back and then that goes out through the roof there. I need to get some sealant for that. So all the cables for my camera and my antenna are on the roof. And we'll crack on now with another couple of cameras. Still got that one on. That's the rear one. Baby's had a good read through the instructions and she's getting there. We've had to plug the mouse into the computer to be able to get some of these settings up. Not everything's working properly yet, but we're getting there. So baby's just coming back now for it. Thanks, baby. <laughs> right, I'll crack on. And that's where we've come through on the roof. All a bit of a mess yet. Yeah. It's going to need a lot of sealant. All right, let's crack on. Baby has managed to find how to flip the cameras now to get them all so they're facing the right orientation. Not I don't, I don't know I've done it. Do I? You've done it though, haven't you? Yeah, but I've only done one. I've got to do two more. Got to do I don't two know what more. I did. She's under pressure, but she's getting there. I'll tell you now, if you don't know anything about computers and you're not savvy with mobile phones, this is a nightmare. Success. So, a little tip on these: when you flip the cameras, you have to reboot the whole thing after. So, flip them all to the orientation you want. You want. You won't see them change, then restart it and it'll all be right. Woohoo! Hi guys and girls. So it is the next day now, so I'm just gonna cable tie the cables up on the roof. But first of all, let's have a look at how much uh, voltage and amps this security camera pulls. It's the only thing that's on in the van at the moment. So like I said, nothing else on in the van and that's pulling 1.6 amps. Is it 1.6? No, 1.1. 1. 1. 
which is quite a lot really, one amp an hour. Hmm. Probably won't be able to stay on all the time. So this is the view from up top. I've got one there. I've got one at the back there, one over that side, and one stretching through to the front. It's not ideal that, but if I set that camera anywhere further back there, all I get is a load of uh, roof, which I don't want. I want a good view. So I'm gonna go with these sticky back things where you put a cable tie through just to tidy them up. These are absolutely solid just with the double-sided tape that comes with them, so they're perfect. So I've used a bit of the old degreaser just to make sure they stick properly. And that will do for me. Just keeps the cables from flapping around. Tidy enough. Same with those aerials, just tidies them up a bit. I'm not bothered, not gonna see them. And there we are, that's all I'm looking for up here, just to stop that cable tapping on the roof as I'm driving, that's fine. Then I've just put one on there to stop the cable dragging when I open the doors. Very rarely open these back doors. So don't need to worry. So I have also got the memory card that came today. So you can put a memory card in the back of that unit and it'll loop record all night when I'm in the van. So it will take two of these 256 gigabyte memory cards and that's the maximum to make it to 500 odd. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in as well. So I'm underneath the unit now looking up and I can see that I've got a green light on the internet, I've got a green light on my power, and I've got a green light on my GPS. I can't get a green light on record until I've got a memory card in, so let's put that in. So you have to put the key in at the back, which flicks that little cover open. Down she comes. And then there's the memory card slot up there. Or there. Now, will mine fit? Okay. So I may as well show you this. I'm going on the bottom one and I've got the terminals facing up. And that pushes in and clicks in. Does exactly what it's supposed to. Good oh. So when you open that back box, everything restarts. So there we are. Now I'm not going to pretend I know anything about this. It came with a mouse. It came with a massive book. And I had to get Mrs. Baby to sort it out, I'm afraid. But she did. So all I want to know is how to press record now. Just caught the boy emptying the bin. Good boy. Now that says HDD error. Now I've been in the drawer at the back, which is the HDD. You can get a big memory disc. I looked at them, they're quite expensive but I'm sure it said you could just use those little uh, memory cards that I got instead. So I don't know why it's saying error. Maybe there's something in the settings. So after a lot of messing around in the menus, and it does take a lot of messing around, there's no good me trying to explain it. There's lots of good YouTube videos out there. Basically, you can see that disc that I've put in and then underneath is that U, or the, oh, I can't remember what it was called, but the other big, disc but we've chosen to have it on there and we've had to format it before it can record on it so let's see what happens now when i press ok okay and it's not detected a device in that other because obviously i haven't used it i haven't chose it as an option so redetect overwritten i don't know what that means yeah Not sure what's going on. Let's have another peruse. So in this window, I've chosen for the record size to be three minutes. That way I'm gonna press record. I can wait five minutes in the van and see if any files are there that I can view. Right, so that other alarm has gone off and it does say recording. So we'll see what happens. So obviously I want this to just switch on and start recording everything it sees. So that's what I'm looking for in the settings. And that's gonna take a lot of uh, getting used to the different menus that pop up. It is like a little mini computer, so it's not, it's not simple by any stretch of the imagination. And like I said, Mrs. Baby set it up for me. I just got my air off. Okay, there's my little switch. If I got this right, that should turn blue. 
and the whole thing should start up. Come on, baby. You know you want to. Yes. Okay, that's good. Now when that starts up, from scratch, I think I've set it, that it'll be recording immediately all cameras. Might take a minute to start up and say that. Uh, it says no record there. Ah, there we go. So it's recording automatically. Superb, so that is set up now exactly how I want it. Now I can also have that on the iPad and then screen record the iPad, which would be far easier than trying to get anything off that memory stick. But I do want to keep the SD card there. So in case I miss anything, that I've also got a backup. So that is purely going to be a backup. Hopefully we're going to get the app on here now. So that is the app there, CMSV6. Let's get that off my cloud. Boom. While that's downloading, I'll just show you uh, the app on the mobile phone and what kind of pictures it takes. And I recorded my next door neighbor, Little T, getting up for work this morning and taking his van out. just need to log in so all your login details by the way are taped onto the top of your main unit and there it is it's all come up it's on its side but I'll get baby to change that because I can't do it I have had a look but there you go that is it really obviously once that's the right way around I'm screen recording that that'll save us one video and I can just download that to my phone and edit accordingly with Splice. So that's perfect. So thanks for watching this one. This is the Join L Go Truck Security System, CCTV. Uh, you get loads of cable. It is expensive. It's an investment for the channel. But I'm hoping to catch lots going on around me now. Rather than what I have been doing with indoor cameras, putting them on the roof and they keep getting rained on. So hopefully, just bring something a bit more interesting to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're interested in a join Elgo, I highly recommend it. As I say, you've got to be a bit computer savvy, but just get your missus to do it. Cheers, baby. Catch you next time.